to play like an actual NBA game. Needs to be more animations for uh, rebound. Really, really delayed and really sluggish. What grabs me up the wall is the inability to foul. No point of watering down the product. There hasn't been a lot of innovation in the basketball category over the last few years, and that's what we're really trying to change with NBA Elite 11. Looking back at last year's games, it's just night and day compared to you know what it was and what it could be. There are two main complaints we've heard about basketball video games. The first is losing control of your player. You'd be stuck in two-man animations and you feel like there's that sucking and pulling feeling where you're not in control. We, we completely had to go away from that. The second is that shooting is based on luck. You press a button, the ball goes in the air, and you have no control over whether it goes in or not. And that's just not realistic. The two biggest changes that people will notice in our game this year are the new hands-on control system and the new real-time physics system. There's never been a basketball game before where real-time physics is running at all times. This means that anything can happen, and every time you play the game, you'll see something different. So with the new controls, we're really excited about the different tools that we're giving the users this year. With hands-on control, the left stick is your feet and the right stick is your hands. There's one-to-one -one movement with the controls and shooting is based on skill. You have total control over dribbling, shooting, dunks, layups, and even defense. We're giving you the control to create amazing moments. We don't want to program in the amazing moments, we want you to create them. That's exactly what it feels like in real life, that's what it's supposed to feel like, that's what it's supposed to look like. It's the most realistic basketball game you'll ever play. There's a lot I haven't told you about yet, so to learn more, sign up on Facebook and follow us on Twitter.